Hello kids, uh, today I figured I'd go ahead and take off my back rim wheel and check the brakes on the back and uh, figured I'd make a video anyway because some of you might uh, want to know how to take your wheel off and get into the hub. Pretty simple to do. Um, pretty straight body, I've got my fender straightened out and uh, you can, I don't know if you can tell up here in front, if you watch my other video, I had a pretty good dent there. Try to get some matching paint, but the paint never matches up i don't care what they do at the uh paint place computers whatever they can never quite get it right so i'm gonna have to deal with that later today but i did get that dent out but uh it actually look looks really good so uh i figured I'd go ahead and check this back brake today on this cool crisp mid september day kind of foggy but the sun will be out here in a little bit kind of reminds me when I used to live in Southern California It'd be foggy in the morning and the sun would come out in the afternoon turn out to be a beautiful day although it's been really dry do need some rain it hasn't rained in about a month but anyway uh, we're going to jack this up and we'll take this wheel off and get into the hub and see what the brakes look like I've never had it off and uh, we'll just kind of do a visual inspection and see what it looks like and see if it's okay and if you have to do this to yours and you've never worked on a car before uh, this will give you some idea what to look for and maybe what to fix. All right, got the lug nuts off the car, so we'll go ahead and take the wheel off. And uh, yeah, I know I painted the hub white, but it was uh, pretty nasty. But I'll get some black paint and stick on it, it'll look good. So now, what we got to do is uh, grab a hammer, and the idea is to hit this around on this. Uh, hub until this breaks loose because we got to slide this hub off and sometimes these are going to be a pain in the ass so I'm going to have to go in here and kind of hit it and you can see it breaking loose there a little bit maybe I'll do this with the camera in my hand and we'll watch it come off for the first time so you can see it moving there a little bit it's coming off Let's see if we can get this off. I'm not probably gonna be able to do it with one hand. I'm probably gonna have to set the camera down. Well, maybe, maybe not. Hey, there she comes. Sometimes it just works out. <laughs> you can see how much rust was on this. The uh, rust got knocked off with the paint. So let me see if I can do this like this. There we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. And that, my friend, that is how you take your hub off on the back of your Taurus if you ever have to. Now, it's a good time to check the bearing, of course. Just kind of spin this. And uh, see if you feel any uh, weird noises, feel any play, or any uh, difference uh, in the uh, spinning of it, any crunching. That seems pretty good. So now we're going to do is, brakes look pretty good. They're pretty thick. So I'm just going to go in there and get some cleaner and clean this up, and we'll look at the hub, do a visual inspection, and it looks pretty good too, so we'll just go ahead and do some cleaning here and stick it back together. Alright, well, cleaned everything the best I could. Um, got my hub nice and clean. This is one time I wish the sun was out, but hey, it'll dry here in a little bit. So, um, all I gotta do now is stick it all back together, but I'll go in here with my camera and kind of hold it there in case you guys have misplaced a spring or you don't know how something goes back together right. You can get a good look at my video and figure out what's misplaced on yours. And I can go do this later too with mine if I have to put brakes on it and get some uh, springs down there on the bottom. You got a big spring there and you got your adjusting. Let's see, your adjusting spindle right there, and you got your uh, e-brake that goes uh, across the bottom there. Hopefully the camera picked it up, and let's see, looks like you got a, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's the spring that goes from that side over to that side right there. There's a spring that goes from that shoe over that shoe. The e-brake actually goes on the outside of that in the spring. Behind there goes behind 
that whole thing. Yeah. Well, the e-brake kind of drops down at an angle, but the spring still goes behind that shoe. But there's a good look at the uh, shoe, how much thickness do I, I still have. And that's about basically what you should have. At least two-thirds of your shoe should have a lot of thickness left on it. And also check your uh, master your cylinder here, brake cylinder for any leaks. Make sure it's okay. Other than that, these brakes are in really good shape. I'm really surprised. Usually, I get cars that have crappy brakes, and uh, you got a couple of uh, disconnect clips here. Basically, you got to turn these and uh, push in on the spring. And uh, as you push in on the spring, you turn that center piece there. That little uh, I usually take needle mows. Get a hold of it, turn it, and pull that spring off, and that's how you get these uh, brake shoes off. There's the other one, but uh, there's a lot of other videos online on how to uh, uh, do that as my camera goes out of focus. Stop it. But anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and stick this back together, and I'll give you one quick look here after I get it back together. Put the wheel on it, and that's about it, and you basically do the same thing to the other side. Just go in there and check everything. Always a good idea to do it when it's running pretty good so you can catch things before they do break. So I've seen a lot of times that these springs rust out and they'll be so rusty uh, 100 miles later you go hit your brake and they'll snap and your brake gets ruined and brake gets uh, trashed and it throws brake stuff everywhere then it gets into your rotor and it destroys the inside of your rotor and you certainly don't want to do that. Also the inside, not your rotor, your hub and also on the inside of your hub. Just double check, make sure that it's nice and smooth and there's no grooves or anything. And the reason I actually painted this was to keep the rust down on it. Since it was in pretty good shape, it'll just keep it from uh, rusting anymore. All right, so we'll take one more look at it here in a few minutes. I'll go ahead and stick this hub on and tire, and that'll be about the end of the video. Actually, one of the easier things I've done in a few days. Kind of nice. And, by the way, I forgot to tell you, uh, when you do put your hub back on and you slide it on, the idea is to put, slide the hub back on. And these brakes should just barely be touching the hub, just enough to kind of wiggle it and force it on there. You don't want it real tight. You don't want it to go on real easy, or you don't want it to go on really hard. You want it to go in where you you kind of feel these uh, brakes uh, kind of hitting the inside of the drum as you uh, slide it on. Then if you have too much uh, play or anything, you can adjust it uh, down here on the bottom. There is a spring, or a wheel I should say, adjusting wheel. If I could find it, that would be wonderful. Um, some brakes have a wheel and some are self-adjusting. And apparently, these are self-adjusting. So that's something I don't have to worry about, which is certainly good. Or you don't have to worry about. So these look like they are self-adjusting uh, brakes. I would have uh, actually thought. I mean, one more look. I'm... Yeah, these are self-adjusting. I do not see an adjuster for those brakes, so you have to put new uh, pads on, or not pads, new uh, shoes. You don't have to worry about that uh, thing down here I was telling you about earlier, to spin it with, to adjust it. This one doesn't have it. I thought it had it, but this is actually the e-brake clip there. I thought that was a, an adjuster, but it's not. All right, so we'll go ahead and stick this on and uh, wrap the video up. Mm. Oops, you know what? I do... Uh, I just realized this does have an adjuster. It's actually behind the uh, the, the uh, cylinder here. You actually have to go in behind like this. I hope the camera picks it up. There's a uh, black thing right there. I think you can see it. You pop it off right here, and that's how you, you stick a tool in there, and you turn that little uh, piece that's right there where my finger is. The camera ever focus. There's a little gear right there. You stick in there and you uh, put a tool in there and you would you turn that and that's how you adjust the uh, brakes. <laughs> and of course the camera is never going to focus. So, uh, uh, but trust me, it's there. There's a thimble, kind of a gear right down there that you turn and that's how you adjust these brakes. So my bad, these are adjustable brakes and you do it from the top. All right, now let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, it's all back together, and uh, I still got it up in the air, and I just got to tighten the lug nuts down. But uh, once you get it up, just spin, kind of spin the wheel, make sure you'll hear any noises. Sometimes rust will get knocked back down in there. You might hear a little 
crunchy sound but don't worry about it it'll go away and uh everything looks good so that's how you get in here to uh, inspect and replace your brakes if you ever have to so now i'm waiting for the mail to run the mail should be here after a while my new fuel pump will be here and i'll be sticking that on here in a little bit and i'll make a video on that but uh there's one more look at her a lot of people still driving these cars uh this is an 01 131,000. And I'm shocked to see how many still on the road because people like to keep their cars nowadays. So, you know, a little maintenance goes a long ways. All right, uh, on to the next project. Hopefully the fuel pump will be here after a while, so uh, maybe I'll get a video in later today. All right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, catch some other stuff out a little bit later on here. And have a great one. Until then.